Hello there, I'm Brad Barton and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, an extremely low-tech look at the 1.21 most interesting stories in geek pop culture today. Way back in 1979, Ridley Scott directed Alien, establishing the galaxy of horror full of xenomorphs, androids with questionable motives, and the engineers, which he would then revisit in the 2012 film Prometheus. Well, Scott is about to raid his back catalog once again, as he is attached to direct a sequel to his 1982 film Blade Runner. And now the production is actively seeking and pursuing Harrison Ford to reprise his role as Rick Deckard and Deckard's mission of hunting down rogue replicants. Now, it's not surprising, of course, that they're going after Harrison Ford. Why wouldn't you? What is sort of surprising is that they're doing so, so publicly, actually, that they're letting the world know, we want Harrison Ford. That doesn't always happen, uh, because uh, that could arguably affect the negotiating process as they try to hammer out a contract with Ford, or, conversely, it could fire up an army of fanboys into such a fervor that Ford couldn't say no at least without looking like a jerk, you know? Personally, I don't see the point of making a Blade Runner sequel without Ford, if for no other reason to determine, once and for all, if androids do indeed dream of electric sheep. In joke. A trailer for the upcoming CW series, The Flash, hit the interwebs yesterday, delivering five minutes of origin story and heroic action, from DC Comics, Scarlet Speedster. There's the character right there. The series stars Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash, and is a spin-off from the CW series uh, Arrow, their other superhero hit that they already have on air. In fact, we see Arrow himself make an appearance in this extended trailer, along with references to DC mainstays Star Labs and Ferris Air. So the show is definitely going the shared universe path, which is very cool. And even more importantly, the show looks fun. Isn't that nice? It is not dark and brooding. Apparently that uh, tech is going to be left entirely for the upcoming series Gotham over on Fox. The Flash will air on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock beginning this fall. Now, I mentioned that Ferris Air made an appearance in the trailer. For today's trivia question, I want you to name the DC superhero who was employed by and is closely linked to Ferris Aircraft. If you know the answer to that question, please leave the answer in the comment section attached to this video. The answer to Wednesday's trivia question was Ace, and the first person who knew the correct response was Paul Romero of New York, New York. Congratulations, Paul. You win those videos that I showed before. You know why? Because we don't live in 1992 anymore and I've become a digital snob. So VHS tapes need to go to a happy home. I hope that home is yours. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this bite-sized chunk of geekitude, please do share it with a nerdy friend and help spread the word. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so and never miss a nerdy second. Uh, and you can also always uh, reach out to me and uh, let me know how you think it's going, if there are stories that you think need to be covered that I'm somehow missing, or just to say hello. You can do so in the comments section, or reach out to me on Twitter. I am at BradBarton72. That is all for today's 1.21 Gigawatts. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.